whenever we do anything in a city, in urban planning, uh, there are always some consequences. And we have to think about if there's issues, how we mitigate them. The question is, how do we organize it? What's the first principle? When we thought about getting rid of uh, the ghettos and having better social housing and having improved stock and innovating and transforming things, when we have irrigation, when we have tunneling, when we have bridges, it used to be the case that much of the public was at the heart of those considerations. How can we have more trade and commerce? How can people have better housing and education? And let's think about post-war when we've had things like provisions after two world wars and a, whole, a huge recession. There was a big concentration on how we could improve things. Every kind of movement, from the Bauhaus movement to the modernist movement, there were mistakes made, but it was about putting people at the heart of things.